Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another sanctuary vlog. So, going to feed the uh, pigs and the goats right now. Julie! Oh, hi, big girl. Hello, Petunia. Hey. Let's see you getting all sideways. Being bad. Oh, uh, so Julie has noticed that the goats dropped food and now she doesn't care about me. Look at that. She ran right past me. She used to always come over right up to me and now I'm chopped liver. Petunia still wants to give me attention in a very aggressive, uh, not good way. Oof. Oh, now we're being nice. Julie! Come here, Julie. Oh. Petunia! Oh, there's Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Petunia! Come here, Petunia. There's nothing in there, Daisy. <laughs> Hi, guys. Julie! <laughs> Why don't you talk, huh? All you do is grunt and chomp. Now we come over and check on the tortoises. So there's Tortellini. And then we've got Fergus. And who is that? Yordas. And we got Valentine and Pebbles back there. So how are you guys doing, huh? Enjoying some sunlight? Yeah. It's a beautiful day out here today too, guys. So nice out. Hi, little baby pigs. Oh, how are you guys doing? Chomping down. Remember guys, they are open for adoption now. So if you want to adopt one of them, you would have to contact Eastern Snouts. And they are ready. All right, so now we're over here with the uh, small parrot aviary. So I've got candy on my head and tango on my shoulder. How you doing guys? Look, look at candy. She's so cute. You're so cute. What are you doing up there? And they're all very happy flying around. And we've got the little quail down here. We just got them a little food bowl. What is this little parakeet doing? Are you a quail? You think you're a quail too? Yeah? You making friends? All right, so just washed out all these dishes. Now we're gonna do food prep. You guys hear those crazy sounds they make? So I just wanted to be quiet and not even talk through that because they make these super weird sounds. It's really interesting. All these little grunts and like kind of, sometimes kind of like guinea pig whistles, since I mean, they are kind of like a guinea pig on stilts, but they make a lot of really interesting sounds. And if you don't know what we're looking at yet and you haven't seen the other videos, these are the Patagonian Mara. They're also called a Patagonian KV, or a lot of people say cavy. Either way, uh, they are a large rodent, and they have these big, like, long deer legs. There you go. Oh, stealing the bull. Look, look at that, look at that. <laughs> so, 
when I'm over here doing other work and I can hear them in the background, they make those little grunts. They're not doing it as much now since they're eating, but it really, it sounds kind of like, like a TV or a radio in the background of like muffled voices and you can't really tell what they're saying. That's literally what it sounds like. It's really weird. They're, they're such cool little strange creatures. Got really cute ears. All right, so we just gave heart guard for the foxes. So they took those down pretty quick. What girl you a? Look a girl. All right, Kira in the back. There you go. There you go, Sammy. She's so stinking cute. Mmm. Straight for the sweet potato. Look at this tail. So now we're feeding Jet the fennec fox. So he's got his ground rabbit and some sweet potato in there. We've also got some meds in there for him since we've been having some issues. If you didn't see in the other video, um, at first we thought he was just constipated, which has happened with him before, but now uh, we took him to the vet and they're thinking it might be a case of chronic anemia and pancreatitis. Um, which would be from what he had before he was with us. We're his third home, so we're not really sure, you know, what he was eating or what his life was like before that. All right, so now I'm in here with the prairie dogs, and as soon as I'm here, they're just climbing all over me like I'm a jungle gym. All right. You guys, you guys are crazy. Look at you. You guys are crazy. Oh. Got food for you. Why don't you go eat your food? They just want to climb all over me. <laughs> you guys like being outside? Yeah. You know? Got a big harv over here eating some sweet potato. Here, you, get off me. Go eat food. You too. Here, go eat. There you go. The other one. You smell the food? You coming out? Cheeky. You coming out, cheeky? Better come up for Harv eats it all. He just, oh, he's stepping on me. He's stepping on me. There you go. He likes the little fruit. Look at that. He looks huge right now. <laughs> Gigantic. That's because he's got a foot up on my foot. Oh, really? He's literally standing on my foot. Ooh, he's 
going to town. Clover. It is straight clover butt right now. <laughs> that is a big animal. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some leaf blowing in here for Jumanji. Uh, we planted all this grass, but it's getting uh, covered with the oak leaves and those are gonna kill off the grass. So I'm gonna try to get rid of a lot of it. So we're feeding the Maras a little bit of lettuce right now too, and just hanging out with them, spending some time, working on, you know, uh, getting them to bond with us and not be afraid of us. So I was just feeding, you see the scraps on the ground, I was just feeding the female a lot. She seems a little bit more friendly, but this is the male. So he's finally coming over with me. So we just wanna get these guys to uh, understand, you know, we're not threat. They're, they're well socialized already, but we're new. You know, so we just got to work with them a little bit. You can see they're not like terrified of humans or anything, uh, which is a nice change from a lot of the animals we end up with. But we do want to get them to actually like us. Look at how she's sitting. So cute. So cute. There's just a symphony of chickens in the background. So what are we doing about their new enclosure? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, so this is the temporary setup, you know, so this is doing the job for right now, but uh, we are trying to figure out what we're going to do with that. It sounds like we're probably going to do chain link. Um, chain link is expensive. I don't want to do it, but well, that's they why, chew everything. Yeah, and that's why we also called FWC to see um, if we need like a variance permit or something. We want to try to do an open top. So yeah. these guys dig really well. So the entire bottom needs to be wired and they also jump, jump really high and then they chew everything. So that's the other big problem is like, you know, most of our enclosures are wood with wire. They'll chew right through the wood. Yeah. So that's why we're probably going to have to do uh, chain link is what it sounds like. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out um, with our officer, he's going to get back to us if maybe we make it like five feet tall or six feet tall if we can get away with not doing a uh a, a top. top on it and then yeah. we would just do like probably some of this or something for the bottom and just kind of uh hogging that together with like 14 gauge what is going what is happening with the chickens right now i think somebody laid an egg and then started doing the that and then they also are doing it that's what it sounds like, the egg song. It's so annoying. That's so annoying. <laughs> then they all just start going nuts. Oh, look at them checking out Bam. Who are those, Bam? All right, so now we are at Publix and buying a bunch of uh, things for the rescue. We got a ton of different stuff from uh, kawadis, parrots, foxes, everything. So we're gonna feed everybody. So we are hopefully gonna be getting donations soon. Right now, gotta pay for everything though. Uh, so I just saw a turtle trying to cross the road. Hopefully it didn't get ran over. 
this is a really dangerous spot too. It's very mad that I unbuckled. It's a spotted turtle. I knew it. It's alive? Yes. And it's a you spotted. You want me to get out or you're going to get out? Be out. safe. Be safe. Oh my gosh. I knew Good it. Good eyes. I knew it when we passed it. I was like, that's a Good spotted eyes. turtle. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He literally would have died. Yeah. Wow. I knew it, man. When we passed it, I was like, I've never, I've never like seen a live one, so I wasn't sure, but like, how cool is that? Yeah, people fly. Yeah, right. here, let me pull up a little bit. Wow. That's so cool. This is such a busy highway and people go fast. Look at how long the tail is. Isn't that interesting? Beautiful. So uh, with turtles, you don't want to relocate. You want to put them across where they were going in the direction they were going. If we try to take him to a better place away from the road, he's just going to try to come back to this spot. So you want to put him on the other side of the road in the direction they were going, which is this, which doesn't look like much. I don't know why he lives here, but this is where he was going. Actually, let's put him at bed. You see that little? Yeah. All right, so we'll go ahead and let him go. There he goes. And he's gone. <laughs> Do you see him at all? Nope. You hear the frog back there too? <laughs> yeah. So freaking cool, huh? All right, so now we're back home and uh, we're going to go check on everybody and try to give Jet a little bit more food and plant the... Uh, Little trees that we just got for Jumanji. The sun is just setting. I see Jet. Jet! Hi, Jet. Are you feeling better, baby? There you go, Jet. Oh, there you go, boy. And he's gone. The beautiful sounds of singing birds. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put these hibiscus in the ground right here. I already put that one. Yeah, we're gonna give it some water. This will be so nice for him. Plus the hibiscus are such a great little treat for the tortoises. They love hibiscus. And since we already water this like crazy every day to try to get the grass to grow, we'll very easily be able to water these because usually we just kill everything. Well, these will probably die too. No, don't say We're that. No, don't say that. We, the grass has been growing. We've been doing such a good job with the grass. Yeah, where'd you want the other one? Over there? Yeah. We gotta give Olaf his meds. I don't know if you can tell from the video how beautiful this is. It's so nice that these animals get to be outside and see this beautiful sunset and, you know, look at the birds back there. Hi, baby. It's so pretty for the birds, for the pigs. So nice out right now. Tomorrow we have a full day. Tomorrow's gonna be wild. Yeah, we got uh, 
for the farrier coming to trim pig hooves, which is going to be something. <laughs> yeah, I'll awesome. try to get it on video. Yeah, trying to trim up the birds too. Um, a different, a different, um, different person, person is coming yeah. to do the beaks and the talons. Well, the little nails, not talons, <laughs> although they do feel like talons. Yeah, so it's gonna be a very, very busy day tomorrow. All right, so now I'm in my reptile building and we're gonna feed the snakes. And this is my 11 foot olive python. And she was just caudal luring. And so she was twitching the tip of her tail to try to attract attention, which I've never seen her do. Now you see those tongue flicks and her head just slightly moving. She is very ready and hungry. But that was really cool to see the caudal luring. I've never seen her actually do that before. So she's ready to roll right now. Look, look, at, look at her creeping over. All right, so I just gave her a large rat. Shout out to uh, Polar Rodents for hooking us up with those. You can also, if you need uh, rodents to feed your animals, you can check out Polar Rodents. And if you use the discount code GATOR, you can get a uh, percentage off. And there she goes, chowing down.